Well, there is sweetness in the air on the Cleveland west side. It falls pleasantly on the nose. Too. Does it? Something like that. <laughs> Leon Bibb, as part of his series, My Ohio, went searching for the origin of that wonderful aroma <laughs> coming out of Ohio City. All right, you are coming out of the Ohio City neighborhood. It is wonderful. What I found was something loved by tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people. It is the stuff of celebrations and good times. Goes well with food, too. Steam wafting from this chimney means something good underneath. What workers in the building are making takes time and care. There is much to care about when it comes to the brewing of beer. This is the pub at Cleveland's Great Lakes Brewing. Here are friendly faces and food. Mostly emphasis is on beer. But our story does not begin here. It begins here. In the Cleveland area called Ohio City, brewing takes place. Great Lakes is a craft brewery. That means its brewers interpret historic styles with unique twists in producing new styles. As a craft brewery, it makes less than six million barrels of beer a year. Small brewery when compared to the big boys, but this big taste has won followers. This is our 75 barrel uh, brew house. So everything that you have found in a bottle or a keg since 1988 has come out of this very room. Spokeswoman Caroline McDonald tells the story of brothers Dan and Patrick Conway, who started this operation in 1988. The little brewery that could, and did, and does. We only brewed about a thousand barrels in that first year, uh, and now we're up to about 165,000 a year. A lot of beer and a lot of attention on brewing. Water, malt, hops blend together. But we are fortunate today, for there is something else in the blend. What's that sweetness that I smell in the air right now? Uh, right now we're brewing Christmas ale. Uh, so with Christmas ale, we add cinnamon and ginger. Keen eyes keep up with what is destined to go down the hatch. Required is steady attention of those laboring here. So what do these workers do when their work is done? Uh, we like to go and have a few beer, a beer or two at the <laughs> bar across the street. Understandable. Across the way is the pub, part of the Great Lakes. A steady stream of customers keeps the barkeep jumping. The brewery work across the way ends up here in bottles and on tap and in 13 other states and the District of Columbia. Of those who belly to the bar, there is beer banter about what'll you have? You know, people talk about the Christmas sale coming out and how it's their favorite beer and everybody waits for these to come out. On a scale of one to 10, they're an 11. Lots of talk, even from the walls. The storied walls tell of Cleveland's beer making history when there were many breweries. Um, definitely by 1832 there was brewing here. And keep in mind that in 1820 there were only 600 people living in Cleveland. <laughs> so pretty important part of the city right from the start. This place has been a tavern ever since 1872. It was in 1901 they put the bar in right there. But eventually along came prohibition and they put the bar in storage. That's when the Salvation Army moved in right here. Eventually prohibition was repealed and the bar came back. And it's been back ever since. Impressive stuff, huh? It is, it is. Equally impressive is what else the brewery inspired. Other companies in this Ohio City neighborhood moved in too. Yes, the new kid on the block brought new business, although it was an old idea. In the early days of the 20th century, there were about 30 breweries in Cleveland. So this city has a long history with beer. Great Lakes Brewing Company builds on that long history. And at the same time, builds in this Cleveland West Side community, becoming a key foundation. This is Leon Bibb telling the story of the Ohio City Brewery still growing and helping Cleveland grow. And you can drink to that. Absolutely. Which leads us to understand there is something brewing here. Oh, All time it. friends, yeah! In more ways than one. You know, all of this could be considered part of the revitalization of Cleveland. There are 240 people working at Great Lakes Brewing. For those employees, their employment puts food on their tables and helps pay their rents. In the final analysis, and most importantly, that is among the good things really brewing in Cleveland. I'm Leon Bibb.